Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Gehrig, and today I have got this wonderful chipboard. It's brand new from Hot Off The Press. Debbie and I made lots of fun projects to show you, lots of techniques, so we can't wait to show you. Come play with us. So for this first card is I used the chipboard from Lace and Doily's chipboard. This is actually featured on the back of the package so you can get a closer look at it. It also tells you um, essentially what products I used here. But I used the paper pack from Hot Off The Press. This is um, Roses. Uh, I don't know why I have trouble with this one. This is Lace and Roses paper pack. Um, I also used Flower Frenzy cutting dies. And then I used the pink cat eye Q and just added some light pink and medium pink around the outside edges of the chipboard and around the edges of the pink flowers and it came together just very very quickly um, so that it was featured right on the back there then we've got the birdhouse chipboard just super fun and whimsical and this card can also be featured here on the back Debbie made this card and she used a lot of great um, embossing techniques on this. She used some great um, iron, sort of oxide iron um, embossing powder. I'm gonna look here really quickly to see which one she used. Oh, she used an oatmeal, uh, this is an ornamental gravel embossing folder. And um, she used um, tri-blend markers to color her pieces. And then some, as I said, some really great um, embossing powders with this. I just think this is a really fun and adorable card. And then this card uses foliage for your flowers chipboard. So for this one, I used um, Country Chic paper pack and used a window from Hot Off The Press. It's a window cutting die. And um, just did a little bit of blue ink on the back of some white paper so that it looked like clouds and then just put that right over the, the window on top of that. And then when I was coloring all of these little flowers, I used the green, I can find it here, the green and yellow ink pad, which I don't believe I have right handy. Nope, nope. Um, I used the green and yellow ink pad to just um, sort of variegate these flowers with different colors and then added, <clears throat> this is a sea glass and also these cute little lavender flowers from uh, Pixie Petals, just to top that off. And this is also a cutting die from Hot Off The Press, Happy, cut that out of white and just did a little um, aqua ink at the bottom edge of that, just a real spring look there. All right, so for the oval wreath, beautiful, um, this is a one that Debbie did, and she used opal polish um, on this really beautiful, vibrant colors. And you can see right on the back here, um, she used lacy coral paper pack with this, and uh, rather she used cosmic shimmer luster polishes. Polishes, I misspoke on that one. Um, these have just a really gorgeous look to them. They almost look like enamel flowers. Really beautiful. All right, and here's another one. If I can grab this one. This is a card that I did using these clocks and gears chipboard. And this is a paper I'm giving you a sneak peek on. This is a brand new paper pack from Hot Out The Press. And this one is called, uh, it's uh, Wood Textures. And it's coming out this spring. And um, I think you're really gonna love this one. It's got wood and this is particular sort of a metal background with rust on it, very masculine, very cool. And with this, I just did some inking using the Essentials Cat IQ, which has got some gold and some copper and some black. Um, and I used this also on a page. I'm going to show you, here we go. For all you scrapbookers, the chipboard is a great way to use this too. Um, this one used, as I said, the clocks and gears. And I'm just gonna show you really quick how I did this. I'm gonna get out my, I should mention too, the paper that I used um, on this page is uh, the Seaside uh, Revised Paper Pack from Hot Off The Press. It had lots of great textured papers with wood and then the netting, the fishnet on there as well. So I'm just gonna take the copper ink pad and just on the surface, I'm just using the surface of the ink pad doing one of these gears and, and then I'm gonna go ahead and switch to a black one. 
and it's okay if they overlap. Don't have to worry about that. It's just getting color on each one like that. Oops. Save that for later. Um, and you can see I did um, one, two, three layers um, on the background and they just sort of tucked the gears among those layers. They sort of extend out. And how I did that was I went ahead and built my page first and then sort of tucked things around and then took my glue and um, used my Cosmic Shimmer Specialist Acrylic Glue and just lifted up parts of that page and added glue here and here and glued everything down <clears throat> that way. That was my particular process. Um, I also used the leaves the foliage and flowers to do some leaves and I used both green and sort of aqua blue to pick up the aqua blue in the background papers and then I just used some more of those little pixie petals there. So who says flowers can't go on masculine pages? Okay, so let's take a look at another card. Here's one where we're really mixing up the pieces that are on here. Hey Steve, let's move in a little bit I think. And so we're mixing up a lot of the pieces here. On this particular one, I used the clocks and gears here. And then I also used the lace and doilies by using that border. And then I used the foliage and flowers for these little leaves here. I also used the bird houses here and here, and then the birds and the little butterflies and things like that. Let's see, what else did I use? I used um, the Hello Chipboard from the Lace and Doilies as well. And then these flowers are from the Sugar Posies. This is the Huckleberry collection from 49 and Market. Just put those clusters right there. The for the background, I used this wonderful basket weave. Um, this one is from Crafter's Companion. And it's just, this is just such a versatile embossing folder. This is definitely gonna be in my permanent collection of things to keep. And um, then I just added a little bit of opal polish. This is pink thistle. And it really comes out more lavender, but when you catch it in the light, it does have some pink elements to that. So what I did with that was I just took my pink thistle And I just put a little bit, before I glued that to the card front, right there on the corners. I wanted to put some here and then in the opposite corner as well. Really should be using my craft sheet, but we're gonna, moving along here. And then the opposite corner here, just down from the corner, not right up in the corner. So that's really, I hit those areas just like that because I knew the, the primary part of my design was gonna go in the center. And then I used this um, as well on the border here and a little bit on the leaves. So once I had done all of that, I took this great glitter brush and I just touched, let's see if I can get this off, here we go. I used my glitter brush and then I just touched elements like the birds and the base of this birdhouse and right here on this butterfly and then on the roof only and then on this bird, butterfly, and then I did a heavy amount on the leaves. So there's a lot of sparkle going on there. Here we go. All right. And I have one more card here that we're gonna put together. Boy, I've got quite a stack of projects going on here. All right, so we're gonna build this one from the ground up, really. So I, I started off with a blank card and used the all over script stamps. And then I added this great stencil. This is from Crafter's Companion, if I got this right. Yes, Sarah Davies. And it's got this wonderful, um, trellis on it. So I went ahead and used that, make sure to tape that down, and I used, here we go, this is opal polish and the color is gilded apricot. And I went ahead and put that on 
to get this look right here, okay? And then I added a little strip of paper here. This is from Lacy Coral Paper Pack. So that's our card base. Then I also loved this 49 and Market uh, Country Blooms. This one is tangerine. I'm gonna use that. And then I'm going to use the oval wreath chipboard, which I just colored brown. There you go. We're just going to put some dots of glue down for this. Got a clog that I need to get through here. I always like to keep a paper clip handy just in case. There we go. Right, and then we're gonna put in some of these swirly pieces. There we go. That I just colored black. Swirly piece there. And here's some of the swirly pieces with leaves on them. All right, so you can see I've got this sort of crescent shape going right here on the bottom left side. We're gonna take a couple of these little rose buds from the tangerine flowers. One right there. There. You can even open those buds up a little bit. There we go. All right, and then with these flowers right here, I used a pink, the light, lightest pink ink from the Cat IQ for the larger base flower. And then I used the apricot, gilded apricot opal polish for the next layer and then put a little sparklet on the center. And we're just gonna start building our crescent. Just tucking those in, making sure they connect with something there. And then here are all my little extra pieces that I've got going here. Here is a heartfelt thanks cut from black cardstock. This is from Mini Creative Expressions. What would be great to use with these are little sticky specks. And I've got to grab those. We're just going to use some glue. Notice that I'm just overlapping that to kind of extend outside of the wreath. Let me see if I can find the rest of my flowers. Go. And we want to work these little pixie petals in parchment and ballet pink. Just going to kind of work those in. There we go. Oops, see. Now this one is missing the little rhinestone from my sparklets. So I'm going to grab this here. This is Winter Wishes Sparklets. And then I took a little birdhouse, which I colored with the um, apricot opal polish. And this used a little black pen along the top and the bottom of that roof and then the base. And we're just going to tuck that in right here. But I want to move some of those flowers up so we don't see that little stem there, the, or rather the base of the there we go. Okay, I think we got it. To glue my greeting down a little better, but you get the general idea. So there you go. We're picking the black up from the script stamp. We've got layers and layers of mixed media here. So we're picking the black up here and here, 
that's in the background. And then we've got the opal polish and we're mixing in all kinds of different dimension here to make this cute little card. So as you can see, lots of fun. Oh my goodness, I forgot to show you these cards. I just about signed off, you guys. But here's another couple cards. This is one that Debbie did and she used this fantastic Spectrum Noir Sparkle. This is like really great liquid paint um, in all three colors. And um, she used that as her background. She just brushed that on and then colored all of her little guys here with um, Spectrum Noir alcohol pens. And then she, to add a little glitz to those, she just added, this is the sparkle um, glitter paint. And this is color, it's just like a clear. Beautiful. This card is a showstopper. Debbie did this one. She created her background first by using shimmer shakers. And this one is luster polish. This one's raspberry rose. My glasses aren't working too good. And this is the tangy tangerine. So she created that by sprinkling those on there, misting it with her water to get her background. Then she also used a stencil. This is a great crackle stencil by Stamperia. She used the cream paste here with that stencil. And then using the Spectrum um, the Cosmic Shimmer glue, just the white glue, she added diamond dust. And if you guys haven't seen diamond dust, oh, if I can open this. <laughs> oh, it's got tape on it. There we go. Yeah, you don't want to spill diamond dust because it goes everywhere. It's this wonderful crystal. It looks like rock sugar, rock salt. Um, and that is sprinkled on the corners. And then also using this fabulous uh, fluff sugar plum, plum posies right here and here also sprinkling a little bit of the diamond dust on that using glue she kept her chipboard pieces natural color which is great except for this little birdhouse piece which she embossed using the wow trios this is the um the parse floral and she used the sort of red blend here this one is the azalea blend on that little birdhouse so you can see, really fantastic. So much to do with these chipboard pieces, you guys. We have a great money saver on these. If you're watching us um, on our webisode page, just take a look at the money saver on the right side of your screen. And if you're watching us on YouTube, just take a look in the description box below the video. There's a link to the money saver for all these chipboard pieces, as well as um, a link to paperwishes.com where you can purchase all of these great supplies and watch more videos and lots of fun things. So thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.